Many years ago, back when we were all still playing D&D, I ran a game where I pitted two groups against each other. Several members of Group 1 came up with the idea of luring Group 2 into a trap. You remember the Hand of Vecna and the Eye of Vecna that were artifacts in the old D&D world, where if you cut off your hand or your eye and replaced it with the Hand of Vecna, you'd get awesome new powers. Well, Group 1 thought up the Head of Vecna. Group 1 spread rumours all over the countryside, even paying bards to spread the word about this artifact rumoured to exist nearby. They even went so far as to get a real head and place it under some weak traps to help with the illusion. Unfortunately, they forgot to let all the members of their group in on the secret plan. I suspect it was because they didn't want the druid to get caught and tell the enemy about this trap of theirs, or maybe because they didn't want him messing with things. The druid in group 1 heard about this new artifact and went off in search of it himself, I believe to help prove himself to the party members. Well, after much trial and tribulation, he found it, deactivated or set off all the traps and took his prize off into the woods for examination. He discovered that it did not radiate magic, a well-known trait of artifacts, and smiled gleefully. I wasn't really worried since he was alone and I knew that there was no way he could cut his own head off. Alas, I was mistaken as the druid promptly summoned some carnivorous apes and instructed them to use his own scimitar to cut his head off and of course quickly replacing it with the head of Vecna. <laughs> It's so dumb. <laughs> Sometime later, Group 1 decided to find the druid and to check on the trap. They found the headless body and the two heads and realized that they had erred in their plan. Besides laughing at the character who had played the druid, the head of Vecna still had both eyes. They corrected this mistake and reset the traps and the head for its real intended victims. Group 2 by this time had heard of the powerful artifact and decided that it bore investigating since, if true, they could use it to destroy Group 1. After much trial and tribulation, they found the resting place of the head of Vecna. They were particularly impressed with the cunning traps surrounding the site. One almost missed his save against the weakest poison known to man. They recovered the head and made off to a safe area. Group 2 actually came to blows. Several rounds of fighting against each other, arguing would get the head cut off. Several greedy players had to be hurt and restrained before it was decided who would be the recipient of the great powers bestowed by the head. The magician was selected and one of them promptly cut his head off. As the player was lifting the head of Vecna to emplace it on its new body, another argument broke out and they spent several minutes shouting and yelling. Then finally, they put the head onto the character. Well, of course, the head simply fell off the lifeless body. All members of group two began yelling and screaming at each other and at me, and then on their own decided that they had let too much time pass between cutting off the head of a hopeful recipient and put the head of Vecna onto the body. So they did it again, killing another PC. In closing, it should be said that I never even cracked a smile as this was going on. After the second PC was slaughtered, I had to give in, my side was hurting, and group 2 blamed me for all that. So let that be a warning to you. Don't let your head get cut off unless you really know what you're doing.